Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back playing The Simple Life 2. I made some progress since last time. As you can see, we're starting to fly in over our uh, new mine colony village. Learned just a ton about this mod, uh, you know, since I started playing with it. And the thing I already learned is I'm going to have to pick up a lot of this stuff and move it around. But, you know, we've got, uh, we got our town hall, we got our farm. Guard towers, uh, places for people to live. Uh, let's see, a warehouse, fishing shack. I think this one's going to be a logger, maybe? No, bakery, bakery. Uh, and so I'll, you know, take over probably this whole field. You know, we'll kind of merge it into this village. We'll make it a whole city. Uh, also learned that these, uh, these lights here are more powerful uh, if you put them on top of these posts. You know, part of the crafting ingredient. It, like, doubles up the uh, the mob spawning prevention area. All right, uh, so since last time, I took out all the furnaces that were here, and I made all of the stuff from cooking with blockheads. Uh, pretty handy. This oven does a great job cooking bread. Does it pretty cheaply, too, for coal cost. Uh, cooking table, very handy. I can find a lot of recipes and just kind of click them out. Yeah, just like this. There we go. I got a couple more sandwiches. Uh, decent storage. It's a single chest. This thing is pretty good. I always like the sinks from either this or Pam's as infinite water source. I uh, did move around refined storage, so I've got this set up. Ah, oh, the builder's going to need cobblestone. You know, hold on. Let's go give him... Let's go give him cobblestone, or else he's going to yell about it for the entire video here. Let's just teleport over here real fast. Let's see, where's your stuff, right? Inventory. There you go, have some cobble. All right. I got to make the thing so I can deliver to them. Uh, and then back in here. All right, so I've got refined storage. I went as far as I made a crafter, and the crafter really can make crafters. Um, and I went ahead and got the processing pattern encoder, a pattern grid, and a crafting monitor. Still got the one drive. And then I moved this stuff in this room just as a temporary setup. I did double up the uh, alloy smelter and the sag mill. So the center, really, I need a red bed. Do I have a bed? We might just have to ignore him. Yeah, we'll just ignore him for now. I did double up uh, this, but the center is uh, automatic processing for right now. And the problem is, is once you sag mill stuff, you get things from a mod called base, all of this stuff here. And so like copper dust, let's see, uses on it can only go in the smeltery or the arc furnace. And, you know, that's not really handy. But I found this block called an automatic ore converter. And so I told it what kind of dust that I want. And it automatically or dictionaries it. And then it comes over here and just goes up into the chest. And, you know, we're cooking it all up. Makes mining a little easier. Yeah, I got tin. So there's no tin ore in the pack, but I'm getting tin as a byproduct of something. Let's see, where are you? Tin dust. Hmm, I know it's a secondary of something. I don't know. We'll have to, uh, I'll have to find it, right? That's all tin. I can't figure out, well, I don't know, but, you know, I, uh, I'm trying to figure out what block is giving me the tin. Uh, I think all of this stuff is still the same. So, uh, things we're going to do today is I want to get through some blocks, uh, some things that I need, and then we're going to jump into immersive engineering. And one of the reasons is I'm having trouble with uh, lapis. So yeah, I got 445, but you wouldn't believe the amount of mining that I've done to get that. It has been unbelievable. So I want to start growing some of those things. And, you know, thing from last time. So I need these uh, water stones right here. I want to get my bucket back. And last episode, I had planted the water plant because I wanted to make this and I forgot about it. Hey, isn't that, uh, isn't that how you do it? Hold on, it's a thing called a well. Oh, I just got one extra, right there. So this is from Pam's, and I think this is their version of a sink. 
Oh, and it's a quest. Um, and, you know, I want to check that out as an infinite water source. And, you know, we might as well look at the quests here. Uh, let's see. So I've opened up Astral Sorcery because I found an Aquamarine. And that gets me an Astral Journal. Cool. Hunter Gatherer, uh, you'll get me a loot bag. Yeah, I still gotta, I still gotta collect all of those. Uh, storage solution. So, I made the pattern grid and uh, patterns. Oh, cool! And I get eight patterns. That's handy. Tinkers is done cooking. Oh man, uh, I got a fried egg and loot bags. Uh, I didn't realize I was making the whole kitchen for quests, but it's pretty handy. I mean. Making all of these uh, sandwiches. So I gotta make some food. And a pot. I thought I had a pot. Don't I have a pot? Right? None of you are a pot. Maybe, oh, uh, you weren't supposed to go there. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Pot. Ooh. Can I just eyeball it here? There it is. And, you know, I'm going to... No, I was in the right terminal. I'm like, I'm going to get left and right mixed up all the time. All right, so there's the pot. Okay, so you go here. Ah, okay, I thought I was right because it, you know, didn't uh, tell me anything different. And you can go there. All right, cool. All right, got all that. We'll pick up a uh, stew. Mayoral duty. So I did make this. Uh, this guy indicates what a farm is. And I made the grinding and baking because they started complaining about being hungry. And the fisher, just to see what was going on. And so I've got to do these guys here. This is the delivery guy, and I think this one is a quarry, maybe? Uh, blah, blah, blah. A mine. Yeah, there's a mine and there's a quarry. And I don't know the difference. So before I build them and accidentally, like, quarry my base... I got to do a little bit of looking up. All right, so let's put our food away. Oh, and a big thanks uh, to 99 Blocks. So I was about to make a huge mistake and waste a lot of time. You know, I had mentioned that I was going to uh, put the mine colony stuff in the mining dimension. You know, I figured it's huge and flat, and that made sense. Well, they rely on a day-night cycle, and it doesn't have one. And so he gave me a heads up. And I... I haven't done it before, but, uh, you know, 99 Blocks has been a super help. I don't expect uh, pack developers to watch or comment or help or just be an all-around uh, awesome guy to deal with, and he totally is. So hopefully I'll remember. I'm going to drop a, a link to his channel um, and out to the Discord and, you know, pop in, say hi, play the pack. Uh, it is a lot of fun, and it's very, very smooth. All right, let's, uh, let's pop these bags here. Zombie heads, all right, some ingots, skeleton skull, I'm getting a lot of skulls, and a nug, all right, uh, decent stuff there, all right, good stuff, I'm getting a lot of random stuff, that's all right, all that's good, and I think it's all got a home, yeah, all right, so Prudentium doesn't have a home, but do you really need one, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll stick you right there. All right, was that all of the quests? I don't think so. Oh, we made the well. All right. Uh, industrial age, we made this wire. And we get hemp fiber. All right, Gaia's power. I want to get him to Batania. Ah, a chisel. Let's see, I can get... Oh, I like basalt. I always like basalt. And I'm going to make that in just a minute. And, okay... I got the journal from a quest, which completes another quest. I like that. Automatic quest completion. I did make uh, upgraded capacitors to put on my armor. And that's handy. You get a free octatic. And let's see. This is fused quartz. And I get three more fused quartz. Cool. And I'm not sure if anything else... Oh, Xnet. Oh, a fuchsia locker. Oh, from DecoCraft. I don't know if pink goes with the base. I can't wait to get into Xnet. It's such a good mod. All right, so I think we got everybody. All right, pop this bag. Ooh, block of gold. That's kind of nice. That's good stuff. All right, so let's go and get our immersive engineering book right here. So the very first thing that I want to build, oh, not like that. 
I was looking up the balloons, but we're not going to build those. So let's see. Tools and simple machines? No, I don't feel like you're here. I feel like you're heavy machinery, you're the metal press. So, two steel scaffolding, a redstone engineering block, a piston, conveyors, and a heavy engineering block. Well, I've got just a ton of steel scaffolding right here. It's what I use to reset the villagers' trade. So, plenty of that. All right, I'm going to grab that stuff. I think I'm okay with the rest of it. All right, so let's make, nope, this one. Let's make some engineering blocks. Engineering. Uh, let's see, so redstone engineering block. I need two of those. And was it light or heavy? I feel like it was heavy. Yeah, heavy engineering block. All right, so we need steel mechanical components. That's a pretty good deal. And pistons, and we get two of those. And I know I'm going to need pistons. And I'm going to take two of those. I got the scaffolding. I'll need conveyors. Uh, that guy right there, give me eight of those. And I'm going to want a couple of chests. And let's see, uh, we're going to want conduits. Got to power this thing. And then what do I have for... Do I have trans... I don't have trans for nodes. Hmm... What can I move things with? I really like transfer nodes uh, as a way to move stuff on there. I don't think I can do it right with item conduits. Uh, so for right now, maybe I'll just go with hoppers, right? Maybe I'll just put a hopper for input. And these hoppers look different. I think this is uh, skinny hoppers. Uh, let's see, chest. Can I use those? Yeah. All right, so I got all this stuff. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, I am. I am. We got to have some molds, right? So a metal press plate is a whole bunch of plates. And it looks like a steel plate, a gold plate. Steel, 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 steel. All right, so what we'll do here is let's grab some steel. And, I don't know, let's grab, like, eight. And we'll get this hammer I've already started to use. And I'm just going to hammer these for right now. And then over in the smeltery, I've got a plate mold. And i got a whole bunch of iron plates. Uh, so we can make this guy. All right, so this should bend mold. Right, I should be able to click out. Oh, steel, steel, steel. There we go, a plate mold. And then I want a wire mold. I should have a wire here. Uh, steel. I guess I'll use the aluminum. I don't know if it actually makes any difference. Nope. All right. And I'll check those in there. Let's go set this guy up. So I'm thinking this is kind of the big heavy machine room. And let's see if I can remember. Oh, wait. There's another quest we can complete. What would it take to get a projector? Right? This guy right here. I should have all of that. I just need the lantern. What am I missing? What am I missing to get lantern? Oh, I just need uh, glass panes? Well, I can do that. All right, so there's some glass panes. And we'll get a projector. Uh, let's see. Get this lantern. That gives me three. All right. So there's a projector. And that was a quest. And I'm pretty sure it said to craft with this. Yeah, instructions for making a metal press. Is that because I'm on the metal press? Oop, got to pick up my book. And let's go take a look here. Okay, cool. Let's see. I'm going to want my metal press. Do I want it there? And then I output from the back. Yeah, so the side doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, I think I want it there. So, is that a persistent image? No. Okay, so it's got to be in my hot bar. And so, redstone block, and you know, I'm making two of them. So, we might as well just double it up as we do it. Alright, and then piston. Right, so piston on top, piston on top. And I actually want the conveyor to run, yeah, I want it to run this way. 
Yep, that works. All right, conveyor, conveyor. And then I should be able to rotate this guy. Oh, wait, heavy engineering blocks. Heavy engineering block. Let's see. Yep, got that one. It's a little harder when you got super jump boots. All right, so let's take our hammer and we can rotate it. Let's see, right there. And then I think I whack it, whack, and we've got a pair of metal presses. All right, so let's see. Do I just, yeah, I just stick you on here. And then I think, I think, I think, I should be able to target that edge just like this and just like that. All right, and then a couple of chests. And can I put you on that edge right there? And then I'll come back and I'll import everything and I'll export everything. And what I'll do here is I'm going to grab, uh, let's see, your steel. So I want a stack of you, a stack of iron, and a stack of copper to start with. And I'm just going to make a ton of plates. Right? We'll just let this guy plate it all up. And then I will make a drawer location for plates. Right there. All right, got that all done. Uh, let's see. Back over here. Ah, this thing. So I want to try a thing. And we need to make a bunch of flux. So let's go outside. Let's see. Right about here. I'm going to throw that in there. And I'm just going to throw this stack. And that stack. All right, cool. Made a bunch of flux. Pick our lava back up. I lost the dirt. All right, so what I want to try to make here is I want to try to go to uh, at Flex Networks is I want the Flex Controller. And so I want just a ton of these Flex Cores. I think that's enough. I feel like I'm short. What would have made me short? I think I wanted six. Oh, an Energetic Alloy. Uh, energetic. Let's make one more. And so here's the problem I'm having. This armor's great, but it runs out of power, and then, you know, then you're back to regular abilities like you can't jump, and that's a problem. All right, so I made that. So I need to make five flux blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then I want to make this flux controller. And if I remember flux networks right, I should be able to take this controller. Yeah, we'll come and we'll just stick it right there and I'm gonna turn on this right here transmitter mode so transmitter mode oh we gotta select a network create a new network all right so we're gonna call this uh, for out all right and create let's just check the settings send mode receive mode ignore limit sure transmitter mode on right it doesn't have any plugs or points i guess i'm technically a point but what should happen let's look at the power on this guy yeah so everything now should be wirelessly charging me through that thing oh but you're not you're not actually connected let's make a flux plug and you know we'll come in here and let's just stick them on the back of this guy uh, let's see. You'll be that network. All right. Now am I being charged? A million, 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 million. All right. That's all it needed right there. So now that I got that thing, I have wireless charging, and I don't have to worry about charging my armor or my tools. And I think that's very cool. If I didn't have that, we were going to have to make the wireless, which, you know, we kind of do anyways. All right. So got that stuff done. Uh, let's see. Over here. Ah, uh, yes. One of my absolute favorite things from the mod. So I'm going to make one of this. I think it was like this, maybe? Ah, uh, an electromagnet. I've been waiting to get a magnet this whole time. All right, so that was the first thing. The next thing that I want to do is I'm doing all of this to get up to the garden cloche. So iron mechanical components... I just want to get a ton of those guys. We got the wood, quite clear glass. 
accepts any block glass, okay? And then I should have a bunch of plates. And I think I ran out of uh, panes, glass panes. So let's get two stacks. And we'll go back to cloche. All right, so right here. And let's see. Yeah, that's what I wanted right there. I wanted 10 cloches, and I'm going to start them in this room right here. I think, yeah, I think I'm probably going to move that. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. All right, and then we'll wire them all up. And I can't remember. Oh, I need cables. I need cables. No, not cables. I need conduits. I've been playing too much mechanism. Everything's a cable. All right, so can I... You know, let's just be safe about it. Let's be safe. Let's go with what we know works. Uh, let's see, up there. And is there enough room for me to get on top? Yeah, there is. All right, so that and this. Yeah, so this is a little difficult. I'm going to fall off this thing right about there, right onto my head. Come on, get up on there. All right, so. Did you not get, are you not getting power? Are you not all hooked in? You should get power. That's where you're powered from. Right? We've got a wire going all the way up. Continuous. That comes all the way over. Right? And should be getting power off that guy. <laughs> maybe, maybe this version can't work with these? Please tell me we can work with conduits. Right? I clearly didn't miss anything. You're not seriously going to make me make uh, LV connectors, are you? All right, so I've been staring at this setup for uh, quite a while. And, you know, all of those things not working was driving me crazy. So I went and made it work how I wanted it to work. So I made these uh, LV wire connectors, and I'm not sure that they're going to be enough. Uh, you know, I've got to watch the power and see if, yeah, see if it's keeping up. Well, that might just be, oh, visual glitch. Man, the power on these is acting weird. But I went ahead and, you know, I made the connectors. I can move up to MV if I have to. It's just stuck onto the conduit. I moved the uh, sink downstairs, doubled them all up. And so in here, I and I made all the seeds. I've got a lapis seed. Yeah, that's working. Uh, the nether quartz seed that we made. I made a gold seed, a nature seed, and a dye seed. This and the nature seed are real important to me. I don't have to make things like sugar cane, you know, or pumpkins or stuff like that. This guy, I hate getting dyes. So, got always got to do that one. Obsidian, yeah, who wants to uh, grind that out? And then Infernium. And I spent every single piece of Infernium that I had to tier this up to a tier 4. And I need something like 2,000 more Infernium uh, to come in just to be able to get it up to the next level. And then what I'm thinking is, so I had it output to all of these chests. And I'm going to try to process all of the seeds. And so, let's see. I'm going to... Can I do this? Yeah, so... I'm going to take all of these guys. And what would it take to get a conduit... A conduit probe. Do I have? I got like all this stuff. Hold on. Oh yeah. Let's just make a conduit probe real fast. Right? Just like this. Like that. Go to my conduit probe. Let's see. Let's get out our wrench. Uh, set the wrench to that mode right there. I'm going to disable that one, and we will extract. All right. Take this guy, make him orange, shift-click to copy, and it should be, right? It should be item conduit, right? That should be copy. And then do I come back here? 
I could swear this is how this works. Hold on. Back over to this mode here. Right? And maybe it's... Ah, right there. Okay, I was just clicking on the wrong part. Why are you not... Why you no work? I could swear. Is it shift-click? Hmm. <laughs> Something is going off here. All right. Well, I'll play with that later then. I guess I'll just do it this way. That I just didn't want to have to... Oh, no, no, no. It's working. It's just not doing this back one. But I wonder if that's going to be a problem. And let's see. Did that work? Ah, except I forget left and right click. Okay, hold on. Right, copy you, paste it there, and let's get our wrench, and we'll go left click, up, so it's turned that off. Okay, right, do all of that. Okay, almost there. And so then we'll take this out, we'll take it over, we'll connect them, We'll go down, and let's take this elevator down. Right? Aren't you over here? I have the worst sense of direction. Here we go. All right, so that should be connected. Come on down. You're the next contestant. And I'll throw you all into this chest. Uh, let's see. You should be insert. There comes all the stuff. And the reason I'm going to do this is for the price of those couple of conduits, now I only have one refined storage thing to deal with, right? I can just tell it import and give it essence, or actually I'm probably going to separate things out. This is the next part I've got to work on, is separating the seed so I can reprocess those into the uh, seed reprocessor. You know, if I'm going to get duped up seeds every single time, I'll make a whole bank of these things and just feed them over, feed that back into the chest, and, you know, I'm making it twice as fast. I basically have to build half as many of the, uh, of the cloches. And so, once I get more infernium, we'll, uh, we'll make more cloches, we'll make more seeds. This dude's going to have to go into the other room, and, you know, I'll work it from there. So, I've got to work on the next part. i got to think about it a little bit, but at least I got this part done. I got gold and lapis and obsidian and stuff like that coming in. And that makes me super, super stoked. So, I think I'm going to uh, call it there. I think that's been a pretty good episode. Uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll come back. We'll look at the village. We'll do more stuff next time. Always having fun playing this pack. So, I'm 47 Mark IV. I hope you enjoyed. I'd appreciate uh, any likes or comments that you want to leave me, and I will see you in the next episode.